Experienced Linux administrators probably do most of their package management from the command line rather than from a graphical interface. However, every Linux distribution has at least one graphical interface for installing, upgrading, removing, etc. various software packages. So let's take a look at a recent Ubuntu system. Uh, I can go to Applications and then down to System Tools. And first, let's look at the one at the bottom here, which just says Software. This is actually a program called GNOME Software. Uh, you can always install it if it hasn't been installed on your system. It looks somewhat like an App Store or a Play Store from Android. And uh, it's pretty obvious so you can click on any one of these to try to install, etc. And at the bottom, you'll see things are grouped by category. So for instance, oh, I can click on Utilities and then I'll see a bunch of different utilities uh, that may or may not be installed on your system already. Okay. Or I could search for various things. So let me go back to the main page. And um, if I click on the hourglass up in the corner here, I can search. So let's say I search on terminal. And you'll see it'll come up with a number of different things I could install. You'll see here, this terminal here is the GNOME terminal, and it says installed in a rather small font here. Uh, and if I wanted to install something else, I could just say, for instance here, I could click on that and I would say install, and it could just be installed. Or if I want something a little more fun, let's say I'll look for a program called Cheese, which lets you use your um, webcam to take pictures or or make videos etc and I can say remove because it turns out it's already installed so let me remove it and it's going to want a password to do this which shouldn't be that price surprising so I type my password and it's removing it and then uh, you know, if I want to reinstall it, which I'll do, I'll just say install and give the password again. So this is not a very complex program to use. Uh, it's pretty easy to use GNOME software. And you notice at the top, you have a list here of Explore, which is where you are now. Installed would be all your installed packages. And if you do updates, it's telling me the system has two sets of updates that I really should install, but to save time, I will do that right now. So that's one graphical interface. There's a much older graphical interface that's available in Ubuntu called Synaptic. So let's do that one. Uh, I thought it was, oh, it's under System Tools. There we go. Synaptic Package Manager. And once again, this is going to ask for a password. And uh, it's just an informatory message. And this is actually a very simple, easy to use, and uh, gives you a clearer uh, vision of exactly where everything came from compared to the more modern graphical interfaces. It's pretty straightforward to use. Um, it's organized by either sections here I can do it in other ways. I can do searching, uh, uh, etc. So suppose I want to search. Well, I'll do the same search here, terminal, and it's going to show me all the packages that either have terminal in the name or discuss terminal. If I want to restrict it to ones that have only uh, in the name, I can do that, and. It's pretty straightforward to use. I won't run through this. These are already installed because they're in green. Uh, I can install any of these other ones and I can just click on that and then I'll, let's say I want to do QT terminal. I would say mark for installation. And it says in order to this to work it has to install these other packages too which it depends on. So we won't bother to do that. And that's briefly what you can do on an Ubuntu system with a graphical software package installations and removals.